Hello users, and welcome to another episodic installation of Above It All, and we are going to talk a little bit about Belarus here today. And so again, I just want to say I don't know much about Belarus. I am a filthy Western American, so please bear with me. But over the past couple of weeks, Lukashenko, who is the current uh, leader the so-called leader of Belarus, rigged an election. Um, his political opponent fled the country to Lithuania, and he has been enacting a fascistic agenda on this country's protesters. Cops have been killing civilians, and the civilians aren't letting up. This is what happens when you have a real, organized, organic uprising. And it's only getting more interesting. So I've got a couple of videos from the past 36-ish hours uh, spanning from today, right now, to the past couple days. And I'm just going to play them. You can see the military presence. You can see that like they're sending in military grade, like not, not just police, but military grade equipment here. And the, the, the civilians aren't letting up. Because what are they going to do? Kill everyone? No, they're not. And if they did, I'll let you finish that in your head. So again, I've got a few videos here. And again, it's just beautiful to watch this solidarity from within the country of Belarus. We need to have more of this kind of vibe all across the planet. Not just in America, but we need this all across Europe, in Hong Kong, in China as a whole. We need this in the Middle East. We need to, especially in Latin America with all these puppet fascist dictators, right? We need to get rid of the global order. We need to occupy this space because this is our space. The real war going on right now in the 21st century and just all throughout the last like thousands of years or so has been a war of 99 versus 1. And I'm talking percentage. The 1%, not even really, it's really the 0.1%, have been going after wealth accumulation, destroying every continent, every country to accumulate wealth, pirating, you know, civilizations, destroying everything, stealing all their supplies. Look at Bolivia. The coup in Bolivia was over lithium, for example. These people think they can get away with it. And some of them will go to their grave having gotten away with it. But historically speaking, either they get away with it and we all die as a result, right? And the world is just left with like a couple thousand people that can just like play Minecraft in real life. Or we stand up and actually do something about it. And so Belarus is extremely inspirational. Again, I've got all these videos uh, in a lot of different areas. And again, I'm, I wish I were more of... Um, uh, like a like an educated person on Belarus. And if anyone in the audience wants to shed some light on this, please let me know. Uh, I would love that information. But again, these videos, looking at the crowds here, and again, you know, I'm not going to be a mask Nazi or anything, but, you know, maybe they should uh, take that a little bit more seriously. But also, I don't know what the status of Belarus uh, in the COVID pandemic is, though I, I understand that it's not great, but it's also not nearly as bad as the United States. But either way, um, again, just seeing this amount of, uh, of, of, you know, just solidarity from not just in Belarus, but from all around the globe with Belarus is amazing. And we need to have more of this international approach to our politics because this isn't just an American uprising. This isn't just a Belarusian uprising. I don't, I don't know if that's how it is. This is a global uprising. This transcends borders. When we say to abolish borders, this is what we mean, okay? We need to talk to one another. We have the internet now. We can talk to one another, communicate with one another, assist one another, and we can help one another restore or even bring democracy for the first time to our own countries. Like the United States, for example, has never had democracy ever in its entire history. We have never been a country that has any form of democracy, okay? And so we like to install democracy all across the world, yet we've never had democracy. Certainly really interesting. These words have been poisoned. They have been utilized to poison your mind and to make you hate your fellow person, and we cannot let that poison 
run too deep. So again, solidarity with Belarus. If you want to go research more about Belarus, definitely go do so. Um, I need to do so as well, but I'm a lazy American and I got a lot of stuff on my plate. But either way, I got to keep y'all informed to the best of my ability. And the crowds are really showing out here. God bless.